Welcome, food travelers. I'm Micah. And I'm Simon. In this episode, we're sharing our experiences through the different type of restaurants within、uh, Taipei. And、uh, before we start this video, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so now. And don't forget to like this video. So, for, first off, in this、uh, video, I'm in the Da'an district of Taipei. And I'm headed to、uh, a place called Yonghe Soy Milk King. It's a very famous、uh, traditional Taiwanese uh, breakfast uh, restaurant. And、uh, you can kind of watch the people prepare and、uh, make the food、uh, right in the front of the restaurant.、Uh, it's a very small、uh, restaurant and they do open really late at night too. So I actually came here a couple times during my stay here. I came once for breakfast and then again at、uh, nighttime.、Uh, so starting off here, you can kind of see there. They have these、uh, Chinese、uh, donuts that they're、uh, deep frying. They're kind of like a,、uh, in Chinese, they're called a、uh, yu tao. And they're, they're kind of like a、uh, fluffy texture inside. It's not too oily.、Um, it's kind of chewy. And it's something that a lot of people like to use to、uh, dip inside the soy milk. So the part of this name is、uh, this, it's called Yong Hei Soy Milk King. So, Uh, when we're here, we'll definitely、uh, get some、uh, soy milk here.、Uh, did you try this one when you came to Taiwan, Simon? Yeah, I came to this restaurant, this exact same one. I'm not sure if they have other locations, but yeah, I did come to this one specifically and I did try it. I was here during the night in the evening. I think it was probably like seven or eight at night. So, but they're open a long time for, during the day and the night. So, definitely.、Uh, You can come here and grab something pretty much almost any time of the day other than night, late at night.、Um, but、uh, I, I did try it because I knew a lot of people did come over here, and this is one of the、uh, popular food places to try.、Um, it was okay for me. It wasn't anything that was fantastic, in my opinion, but、um, I was glad I tried it though. Yeah, one thing I do really want, like about this restaurant is、uh, they make everything fresh. It's made to order.、Um, so, and it does get filled up pretty、uh, quickly at nighttime. So, I think personally, the best time to come is during the day when everyone is already at work. <laughs>、uh, but if you do have to go to work, I mean, obviously you can't do that. But you can also order to go, which is a very popular thing.、Um, Within this restaurant, I see a lot of people always ordering to go or even doing like Uber Eats. Uber Eats is pretty popular in、uh, Taiwan right now, and I'm seeing a lot of people doing Uber Eats when I was there. And as you see, that I'm, I'm kind of tearing apart the、uh, Yu Tao, the Chinese donut.、Um, you can see it's just really fluffy inside, and the soy milk they come with two different flavors. So, this, this one that I got is.、Uh, The Sweden one, so you see, there's like sugar still at the bottom of it. So I'm trying to just、uh, mix it all in.、Um, they do have like a more savory one where it, it, it's cut. I something I don't really like because I'm just growing up. I just always had the Sweden one, and that's my preference.、Uh, when you came here, which one did you get? What's the flavor?、Um, I don't remember. I think it was the Sweden one, but.、Um... Do you know what the flavor of the savory one is? In my mind, I keep thinking like ginger, but I, I have no idea. No, it, it, they, they kind of make it with pork floss and, and、uh, other things inside.、Um, I don't normally get, ever get the, the savory one. I know my mom prefers that one, and、um, I, I did sh、uh, share a, a short bit of that in, in this video, but that's not something、uh, I've normally got. I can say it, it's definitely. More salty, more savory, but especially with the pork floss in it. And another thing I did want to mention is this uh, this uh, egg burrito thing.、Um, I would say it's like a burrito.、Um, it is called a、uh, fan tuan. It, it, it's a essentially it's a sticky rice with pork floss inside and it's wrapped with a、uh, uh, egg.、Um, this one is extremely、uh, filling. So, if you're eating one of these, you're getting the soy milk, you're getting a yu tao.、Um, just the three items alone,、um, you're gonna be stuffed for a really, really long time. And I also w a n t to mention feeding three people and having this much food, it costs about 260 Taiwan dollars, which is like 8 US dollars. 
which is like nothing, right? Uh, it's really, really inexpensive. So moving along after after that, uh, we came to Sunny Hill. Sunny Hill is known for their pineapple cakes. Um, according to their website, uh, they Sunny Hill comes from that name. It kind of for them they call it sunshine taste. If it was a cake, I thought that was really interesting. Um, another thing uh, I read that was really really interesting with Sunny Hill is a lot of the ingredients are sourced from the local farmers. They use eggs from a farmer who plays classical music to their hands. I mean, that's kind of <laughs> like a different level. I mean, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that works or not, but you know, they do what they want to do, and that's their thing. Um, I've had pineapple cakes uh, quite a few times. Um, I like them. I wouldn't say they're my favorite cakes, but I do like them. Yeah, there's so many different types of pineapple cakes. Uh, one thing I did notice is su both Sunny Hill and there's another really, really popular one there called Chiate. You can't get them in the U.S. Like in Costco, they will sell some uh, pineapple cakes. But it, one thing I did want to mention is like the paste inside for the pineapple is very, very unique and very different from this one. Like the U.S. ones, they're more like um, uh, they're more like gluey type of paste inside for the pineapple this one is a lot more shredded I, I would say it's like more broken apart inside so when you're taking a bite into it uh, you can taste like the shreds of the pineapple and one thing with uh, sunny hill is that it it's more like an experience so you're coming here you, you can sit down somebody will come up to you and, and serve you a pineapple kick and they'll also serve you with a cup of tea without even purchasing anything. They, they just want you to experience it first. If you like it, then you can go and line up and buy some uh, pineapple cakes. They also have, uh, as you saw in the video, they have like durian rolls, they have apple flavors, banana flavors as well. Hmm. Yeah, the durian would be interesting. I know, uh, <clears throat> as everybody may know, durian is the king of fruits. So to, to have the durian flavors, would be interesting. Did you happen to have it when you were there or did you just have the pineapple only? Uh, I did not have the durian. Um, I kind of ran out of space in, in, in terms of how much I could carry. Uh, so basically I just had the pineapple cake there. I, I did buy a banana flavored one as well. Um, just kind of curious how that would taste. It was okay. It was not bad. Uh, but definitely the pineapple was the preference for me. Um, I actually got a couple uh, I brought back home and uh, gave to some of my other friends. Um, it, I, I would say like in, in terms of like the, the flavor of this one, it, they have a pretty good balance of tartness of the pineapple filling and the buttery uh, pastry that you see on the outside of this cake. Um, and like I said earlier, like the texture of the pineapple paste inside is more shredded. I, I think that's the best way to describe it because every single little piece of it, you, you take a bite, you can taste the pineapple. It's not like there's one big clump of pineapple paste that is just gooey together where if you take one bite of the, the cake, if you are eating your second or third bite, there's no more pineapple left. I, I think that's a good way to describe it. Yeah, you, you can really see the shreds when you were showing the, uh, the cake to the camera. Um, was it was it sweet at all, or was it was just um, the uh, kind of uh, you said tartness a bit of it, the pineapple? Was there sweetness to it too? It it, it was pretty it was pretty sweet. Um, definitely not as sweet as the U.S. ones. The U.S. ones are just overly sweet. I think this one is really good balance of both sweetness and tartness. So if you are in Taiwan. Definitely go try Sunny Hill because they don't charge anything just to uh, try it out. Um, so af after all that, I uh, walked around Taiwan a little bit and I came to this uh, beef noodle soup place and they don't have an English name for it. Um, I would just call it beef noodle soup. I, I did include in the description down below for the Chinese name and uh, address uh, to get here. But I kind of... Is that the is that the thousand year egg? Or a hundred year egg, I forgot what it's called. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a thousand year egg with uh, tofu. And uh, so this beef noodle place, is, it's not one of those really popular ones where they're really heavy on the broth. 
I kind of came across this one when I was staying at one of the Airbnbs in my previous trips and I, I just really want to share this one because it's one of my favorite ones out of all the beef noodle soup uh, places I've been to in uh, Taiwan in the past. I think this one, they, they're, they're really good. Um, they have, the broth is really light. For me, I, I prefer that type of taste and uh, they have, the, the staff are, are really friendly and, and then there's this little kid who just <laughs> wanted to be on camera. He was just waving the whole time and trying to make all sorts of faces. So the, yeah, the broth looks pretty light, um, it's not too dark like you can see with other beef broth, especially with the, with the, with the Taiwan uh, beef noodle soups, uh, especially in the US, uh, like a lot of the ones that I've had are, are pretty dark broths. Yeah, so with this one, uh, I ordered the one with the beef shank, uh, marble beef, tendons, uh, tripe, carrot, and vegetables. It's about 380 Taiwan dollars, which is not inexpensive is considered a little bit higher end in Taiwan because a lot of times is uh the beef noodle soups are pretty inexpensive around like a hundred Taiwan dollars or less so this is like kind of three times the cost of that which is on the higher end but just look at the beef though how, how much is that in US dollars uh divide that by about 30.5 so I would say like 10 or 11 10 something 11 dollars Right? Is that math right? Okay, yeah, that definitely sounds close enough to me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that I would say I would say that's definitely on the uh, higher end for for getting beef noodle. Yeah, I I really like this one. I think the broth is it, like I said, it's really clear. It's light. It's not salty. Uh, some of the heavier broth, uh, darker broth, they can be really salty and a lot of maybe MSG in it. I, I would say, but I would say this one because of all the type of meats they they do and they do add into this bowl. Um, as the meat soaks in, you get more beef flavor in the broth itself. The meat was very tender. Um, like I said, uh, there there's just so much more in this bowl than I would say the normal beef uh, noodle soup. Because there's a lot of places where they make the beef noodle soup, and it's just like uh, just. A few pieces of beef, and then it's all noodles. Kind of, I, I guess you could say it's kind of like you go to some fun places, and they do the same thing too. Yeah, there are places like that will, will kind of uh, not give you as much as you would like. But um, at least most of the places I've been to, they've been pretty good in terms of giving you just the right amount, if not a little extra. So overall, I had a really great experience uh, eating around the Daan district, uh, and also went to Sunny Hill. Um, if you are in Taiwan and you're looking for something to do or some some places to eat, uh, these are some really great recommendations that I have for uh, Taipei. And to wrap up the episode is our notable. For this notable goes to the Sunny Hill experience. Just to be able to taste a pineapple cake before you buy it is a whole different level. And also just for the texture and the taste of the pineapple cake, there's nothing really comparable to that one. And for the second notable goes to the beef noodle soup. The broth is very light and clear. It's not salty. The meat is very tender. The staff is very friendly and the restaurant is very clean. A must try if you're in Taipei. If you've enjoyed the content you've seen, don't forget to support the channel and hit like and subscribe. And if you want to see additional pictures of food and our travels, go over to our Instagram page and follow us there. And thanks for watching.